Introducing Scenario Inputs, on-demand scheduling, and running scenarios via API. With Scenario Inputs, it's now possible to trigger a complex scenario with a set of dynamic inputs that can be mapped to any module. This will empower members of your team and any business user to run complex scenarios in seconds. Simply define your data structure by specifying your data type, setting default values, and identifying the inputs needed to execute your scenario. To map a scenario input to a module, all you need to do is click on a module field, open the Custom and System Variables tab, and click on a scenario input of your choice to populate it in the field. Here's an example. This scenario has been created for the HR department that needs a quick way to onboard new employees by adding them to the company's employee database, sending them a series of welcome emails, and adding them to relevant Slack channels. By clicking the Run Once button, the scenario input form appears, and the hiring manager can easily enter the employee's first name, last name, email, phone number, and team. The scenario then gets executed, and all the actions are instantly performed to successfully onboard the new employee. Let's take a look at another example. This scenario has been created by a sales rep who wants to quickly add prospects that they meet at offline events to their CRM and automatically send a follow-up email with more information about the product and pricing. In seconds, valuable prospects receive detailed information about the company's solution and pricing, speeding up their internal decision-making process to close deals faster. By setting up scenario inputs, all sales reps need to do to automate this process is to enter the prospect's first name, last name, email, the event that they met them at, and choose whether they would like to send them some more information. Once the scenario gets executed, all the data from the scenario input fields get passed to the relevant modules. Notice how in both of these scenarios the scheduling option is set to On Demand? This is the new on-demand scheduling option that works hand-in-hand -hand with scenario inputs to restrict scenarios to only be executed when the Run Once button is clicked in Make, or when the scenario is executed via an authorized API call. Yes, you heard that right. You can now trigger scenarios via an API call, giving you complete control and flexibility when it comes to integrating Make scenarios with your back-end processes. Here's an example. When a user signs up to become a member of an online community, this scenario performs all the actions required to send them a receipt for their payment, add them to the community's Discord server, and subscribe them to an email list. This process is initiated when the user fills out the sign-up form and makes a payment on the community's custom-built website. The website's backend triggers the scenario via an authorized API call and passes all the user information as scenario inputs. Ready to apply these new features to your own automations? Click the link below to find out more.